Hey guys, Thunder E here and welcome to another headphone video. This time I'm going to show you the best set of headphones to pick up instead of the AirPods Max. Now don't forget to hit the subscribe button, notification icon, and let's begin. Okay, so you've been thinking of picking up the AirPods Max or you're thinking, I don't like it, but I want something else. I've got seven options for you to pick up instead of picking up this bad boy here. Now, let us start off with the very first option. These are from Soundcore. I'm talking about the Soundcore Q30. They are $69. Hear me out now. $69, they've got a nice solid build to them. You have the Soundcore logo comes in black, very simple controls. They have built-in A and C as well. You've got USB Type-C charging, volume controls, and they also have transparency mode. Granted, it's, it's okay. Now, in terms of the A and C, as well as also transparency, they're decent for its price point, but the audio is going to get you. It sounds really, really good. It's got some really nice highs, uh, some really solid lows. The mid's a bit muddy, but trust me, at that price point, you really can't go wrong. I was really impressed, and I have to say, one of my favorite headphones, regardless of price. Plus, it does come with its own hard shell cover case, as well as also accessories you'd expect with any other headphone. So at $69, definitely worth picking up. So next stop is the Razer Opus. Now the Opus are their first THX uh, branded headphones, and they come in about $149 right now. They're originally $199, so you can pick it up at that price point. I've got it in this midnight blue color. In terms of button configuration, you have the ANC button, you've got a power button, USB Type-C charging, and standard volume controls as well as also play and pause button. Really nice audio, comes off, of course with its own Oppos app, allows you to change the EQs from the THX standard to an amplified or different versions. Uh, plus you've got the ability to uh, turn off the headphones after a certain period of time. And it's got the ability to of course stop the music once you take it off your head. I do like the sound. Some things can be a little bit muddy, but the, the sound stage overall is pretty decent on there. And I think you would like it. It's a good starting point if you're moving to the $150 price point. Now, next up are the Jabra's 85H. Now, what I like about the 85H is just the material build. It's got this fabric design to it all around. Uh, really nice. I've got it in this blue jeans-like color. Uh, when you look at each ear cup, on the right ear cup, up, you've got pause and play physical buttons and there are two knobs for volume up and down. You've got a mic button that activates your voice assistance, headphone jack uh, as well 3.5, you've got a USB Type-C port and on the uh, left ear cup you do have of course your ANC cycle from transparency to different modes. Now Jabra has a very robust application as well allowing you to tune the EQs to match the sound you want. I do like the neutral sound on these, they sound really good very comfortable. They're priced about $199. You can find them for a little bit cheaper. Solid all around. Again, a hard shell case, just like the uh, Razer Opus, pretty much everything here has a hard shell case uh, to carry with and really solid pair of headphones all around. Now, next is one of my favorite headphones. These are the Hi-Fi Man Divas. Now, the Divas do not have active noise cancellation. These, in fact, are open ear headphones, which means once you play them, everyone will hear everything around you but they have planar magnetic drivers. Pretty much they sound like two speakers slapped on your ear. Nothing that will break your eardrums, but they sound so crisp and clear. Design is really nice. It's got that metallic look, the leather banding all around. It does come with a Bluetooth dongle. So Bluetooth is not built into the headphone. It is actually separate, allowing you to give you Bluetooth functionality. Having them plugged in wired, the audio is really, really good. It drives quite a bit. It's priced at, uh, 299 uh, If you're looking to get into more of that hi-fi audio and still have something that gives you Bluetooth connectivity, this is the way to go. Again, there'll be no privacy to what you're listening to, but they are a really solid pair of headphones altogether. And then we come to one of my favorite headphones, the Sony WH-1000 Mark IVs. The Mark IVs are probably my go-to headphones, and you guys have seen me compare them to the AirPods Max. Now, in terms of sound, they sound really good. You do have to customize it in the EQs, and it does really well there. You can expand the range on them. Uh, you've also got some really nice volume levels. I don't pass literally 65 on these as well. Now, in terms of features, though, this is feature-packed. The software is probably the most robust out of all of them 
giving you a ton of features like uh, customizing the atmospheric pressure for your active noise cancellation to probably give you one of the best ANCs on here on this range. Probably the best, I would say. Uh, also has the ability uh, giving you functionality something called speech to talk. So once you start talking, your music pauses, and then you can go back to listening to your music. You can customize the EQs. It also recognizes your environment while you're walking around. So you, it knows that, okay, you can change the ANC to where you are. Really great feature, something that also Jabra will have, has by the way. I really like it. it comes with a hard shell case as well. So when you're traveling, you can use that with all the accessories you need. Solid pair of headphones, and also probably one of the longest battery lives here at 30 hours. And then we have the Sennheiser Momentum 3s. Now, I just started listening to them recently, but I've got to say that they sound really good. A lot of people talked about them, and yes, they are some really solid pair of headphones altogether. The ANC is good, but it's not great. That's one thing I'll put into mind. But in terms of the audio range and the sound stage, it is quite impressive. You've got tactile buttons on the side of the headphones, and it does come in this very retro 70s look, especially in the white. I've got the white, we kind of like that gray tan leather look to it. Uh, when you're listening to music, you're gonna enjoy some really nice highs, mids, and also the lows come out really rich as well. You've got a nice, simple app that you can customize your EQs that really do a really good job there. But again, it's a very simple app, and it also comes with this soft, uh, case which allows you to put your headphones give you protection so at least it's something to carry on with it definitely love the sennheiser momentums coming in at 279 or $300 these are really solid pair of headphones and last but not the least are the drop panda thx now I just got these recently, probably about a week or so. I've been enjoying using them, and these have to be probably one of the best sounding Bluetooth headphones out there. Now, they don't have active noise cancellation, so if you're looking for that, these will not give you, but they give you some really good noise isolation. Also has a very nice, simple, slick design, nothing too fancy, black, black, black on black, with plastic build, nice soft padding, but something that looks really, really nice. It's got a single button control, similar to, of course, the AirPod Max, and it works really well. It's basically a joystick. You can toggle back left or right, up or down, uh, you know, forward and back, and you've got your control set up that way. USB uh, Type-C for charging, and of course, the 3.5 mm jack. Again, these are Planet Magnetic uh, headphones, and oh my God, they drive the music so well. It is nice and refreshing to hear almost any type of genre you listen to really sounds resounding and clear and crisp. The bass line is really solid. Uh, definitely go check out my buddy Gameski's video on them. He spent a lot of time, of course, on this, uh, but I've got to say you will truly enjoy them. Also comes with its own hard shell cover case, which of course protects it and has all the accessories you need. Priced in at $399, these are a really solid pair of headphones. So there you have it guys, a ton of other options to pick from and don't get me wrong, the AirPods Max are really, really good. They're priced at 550, but there are a couple of things. I don't think it's worth it at that price. And even if you want to buy them, they're not available till March of next year. So if you're looking for something to pick up, these are the seven best options for you to do. And I think you definitely enjoy them. Let me know which ones you pick up on what headphones you're using right now. Leave your comments below. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and always enjoy the entertainment.